show people how I use logos. So I'm opening Logos 8. And here we have it popping up to the main screen. This is where um, it puts dashboard items in there. If you leave this unconfigured, you'll get a lot of ad-related type things, not genuine ads, but ads from logos trying to sell you things. Down here I do have some of that sort of thing with prepub, so uh, I'm aware of things that are ha haven't been published, but I could decide to throw my lot in with them, get a better price, that kind of thing. Um, I just happen to have the verse of the day. Um, I have a, a lectionary here and some prayer requests that pop up. Um, a video that I was doing uh, for a while, I, I completed that. But essentially, this is the home screen. screen. And uh, you can see it's got the home button there and this comes out to the home screen. This is library. If you click this, it shows the entire library. And right now it's uh, 2,196 results. And the minute I start typing, it reduces the number of results to the, the, the results that match this. So 125 results that begin with SPUR or have that as a part of their title. Most of that is for Spurgeon. So you've got uh, subject filters. You come down here. You've got author filters. Well, you got the, the list of the books directly here. And you can see a lot of them are from a great series here, uh, the Metropolitan Tabernacle Pulpit series. But you also have individual books um, that, that uh, Charles has written. So that's the library. And of course, you notice I, I can come back out to this here and then go back to the library and whatever was last typed in is still there until I click the X here. Then it clears it and it's done. Also, you, you might notice that uh, there is this here as uh, the sort criteria is currently set to title. Whatever I've got listed, I could put recent, I could put most used, and it'll put everything that I frequently use right at the top of the list. Um, so I've got the New King James, my tre Treasury of Scripture Knowledge, which is absolutely the best resource this product ever thought of putting in here, if you ask me. That's me. Um, so that's that. Um, coming back out. This, these are shortcuts that I have created to workspaces. So, for example, here's uh, Roman Sunday School. Here's my prayer time. If I click this, it shows basically just lists of people and things that I, I, I want to regularly pray for. Um, if I go to J, that's for Jeremiah, because I'm in Jeremiah and my devotions. And I've got all my various things up. Looks like it's a very complicated devotional, but it isn't. Uh, I... I don't always look at everything just because I have it available. I make it easy so that when I'm there studying, it's not so difficult. Um, you know, I don't have to go looking. I typically stick around the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge and a variety of different translations. Um, come over here, Mark. I've been preaching in Mark for the last three, four years since 2015. And in Mark, I do have a lot more that I actually do. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm working on uh, preaching uh, Mark 6, 53 to 56, the last section, although I'm maybe going back to the previous. But what I have here is the previous sermon that I preached is still there, so I can look at that. And then, of course, the sermon that I'm about to preach. And uh, you can see I've not done too much on that. The Aleph here is just it's just symbols that I use to reference things. So I use that for when I'm in the book of Psalms. And that's also a devotional thing. Um, these are just workspaces, and this is where I go when I want to study the scriptures. So that's good enough for this video. I'm going to go ahead and close out and um, hope it was uh, informative. Thanks.